Welcome to SSV tutorials. Already we completing different topics in heat. So now in this topic, today we discuss principle of method of mixtures. What is the principle of method of mixtures? Means to discussing this topic before we just remember the concept of heat what is meant by heat heat is a form of energy which is traveling from or transfers from high hotter body to colder body so in this principle for example you to take an object a and you take an object b when both are in thermal contact what happens heat transfers from a to b fine so now according to the principle of method of mixtures here for example 80 degrees the temperature of a and 20 degrees the temperature of b so there is a difference in between the both of temperature in the both objects so heat transfers from a to b until when when means when the both objects getting equal energy when the both are getting equal energy when a reaches the temperature 50 degrees celsius then at the same time b also reaches the 50 degrees celsius here how much decrease in the temperature of the body a 80 minus 50 30 degrees celsius here how much increase in the temperature of the body b means 20 plus 30 is equal to 50 so 30 degrees Celsius. So, here how amount of heat lost by A? 30 degrees Celsius. How amount of heat gained by A? 30 degrees Celsius. This is called principle of method of mixtures. Simply, amount of heat lost by one body is equal to amount of heat gain by another body this is called principle of method of mixtures in the concept of it one object lost heat energy another object gain heat energy here amount of heat lost by the body is equal to amount of heat gained by the body we know according to the law of conservation of energy the energy may not be created and the energy may not be destroyed just the energy transfers from one form to another form or one place to another place like the same way here how much amount lost by the object a is equal to same amount of heat gained by the object b so this is called principle of method of mixtures amount of heat lost by one body is equal to amount of heat gained by another body is called principle of method of mixtures so now by using this principle yeah, by using the principle of method of mixtures now we derive the specific heat of a solid substance today concept is finding the specific heat of a solid substance very 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 important in 10th class i think it is four marks so this experiment what it is needed first one is a calorimeter heat experiments always done in this apparatus this kind of apparatus is called calorimeter and a stirrer so stirrer means to stir it that the apparatus you have to use so this is a calorimeter and you take first this is an empty calorimeter so you have to find the mass of this calorimeter is mass of calorimeter plus stirrer is equal to m1 take it as m1 now you pour one third of calorimeter with water means you fill the calorimeter up to one third part
with water now the mass of the calorimeter changes so mass of calorimeter plus water is equal to m2 now what is the mass of water from these two mass of water is equal to here m2 in the previous m1 so m2 minus m1 is the mass of water now you take some lead shots and heated in a a heat chamber at 100 degree celsius take some lead shots heat in a water stream up to 100 degree celsius and then you have to pour the lead shots in the calorimeter means you transfer the lead shots into this calorimeter now again the mass is changes in before that before pouring the lead shots what is the primary temperature of the calorimeter and water primary temperature of calorimeter plus water is equal to t1 degree celsius now you have to take the temperature of lead shots is equal to t2 degree celsius means here you have to heat the temp lead shots up to 100 degree celsius so the temperature of lead shots taken as t2 now you pour the lead shots in this calorimeter and close it fine so now what happened again the mass changes so mass of calorimeter plus water plus lead shots is equal to m3 now what about the mass of lead shots from this mass of lead shots is equal to m3 minus previous mass is m2 so mass of lead shots is equal to m3 minus m2 now when you mix the lead shots to the water then what happen here the temperature of lead shots is more comparing the water and calorimeter so according to the property of heat heat transfers from lead shots to water and calorimeters means the lead shots transfer the heat energy to the water and calorimeter because both are in thermal contact so after some time what happened the temperature lost by lead shots and the temperature gained by lead shots the transfer of heat from the lead shots to calorimeter is happening until both are getting thermal equilibrium position so for example at the thermal equilibrium position the temp final temperature is equal to taken as t3 here the lead shots lost some temperature and the water and calorimeter gained some temperature how much amount of heat lost by the lead shots the temperature lost by lead shots is equal to is equal to what is the temperature of lead shots t2 what is the final temperature t3 so you subtracting the temperature of lead shots to the final temperature so t2 minus t3 is the temperature loss by lead shots understand next here what are gaining temperature water and calorimeter so temperature gain by water and calorimeter is equal to what is the final temperature t3 because the final temperature is more than the initial temperature of water and calorimeter so that is why we subtract from the final temperature to the initial temperature t3 minus t1 so this is the temperature gain by water and calorimeter t3 minus t1 so now for example these three water and calorimeter and lead shots the specific heats of water 
that will be taken as SW. The specific heat of calorimeter, let it be taken as SC. And the specific heat of lead shots, let it be taken as SL. SL, L means lead shots. C, C means calorimeter. W, W means water. S means specific heat. So let taken the specific heats of water, calorimeter, lead shots as SW, SC and SL. Now, according to the principle of method of mixtures, heat lost by one body is equal to heat gained by another body. So, now we are of this. According to the principle of method of mixtures. According to principle of M -O -M, method of mixtures, heat lost by one body is equal to heat gained by other body. Here, which body lost the heat energy? Lead shots. So, heat lost by lead shots is equal to which bodies are gaining the heat energy? Both the water and calorimeter. Kabati. So, heat gain by water plus calorimeter so according to the heat form according from the formula of heat q is equal to ms delta t here also heat gained by water ms delta t plus heat gained by calorimeter ms delta t here what is the mass? Here M means mass. Mass of lead shots is equal to how much mass it is? M3 minus M2. S means specific heat of lead shots. How much? SL. Delta T means change in temperature. What is the temperature change in lead shots? T2 minus T3. Here heat gained by two objects. Water and calorimeter. So, what is the mass of water? Mass of water. M2 minus M1. Into S means specific heat of water. We taken as SW. And change in temperature is T3 minus T1. That is the gain temperature. Plus MS delta T of calorimeter. So, mass of calorimeter is initial mass. M1. What is the specific heat of calorimeter? Yes, see, we imagine that. Let it be taken that. And delta T is change in temperature is also T3 minus T1. From this, here we take the common T3 minus T1. Then M2 minus M1 into SW middle plus is equal to M1 SC. Here, T3 minus T1 and T3 minus T1 is common. So, T3 minus T1. Here, M3 minus M2 into SL into T2 minus T3. From this, you want to find the specific heat of lead shots, SL. So, SL is equal to M2 minus M1 into SW plus M1 SC into T3 minus T1 by here these two M3 minus M2 and T2 minus T3 multiply with SL. So when it goes that it will be divided. So M3 minus M2 into T2 minus T3. So this is the formula for finding the specific heat of a solid substance. Thank you very much. If you like the video, please Put the like mark and if you want to share the video, if you like it, please share my video and subscribe my channel SSV Tutorials in the future time. We will please, if you have any doubts, please ask in the commentary box. box. Definitely, we will give the answers for your questions. Thank you. Thank you very much.